So as we get this uh, ready to roll, I um, thought it would be a good time to uh, play a bit more of this game. The last time I played, uh, I had completed uh, the main purpose of the dungeon here in the Old Sycamore, which was taking down Tortuccio, um, the vile bandit who works for Pitax, uh, had uh, infiltrated a nearby band of kobolds and uh, had uh, uh, created a bit of a, of a turf war between kobolds and mites. I sided with the kobolds and have been uh, exploring this dungeon. At the end of the last session, uh, I managed to take out uh, Tortuccio, although he did manage to fireball my group quite heavily, uh, dealing a lot of damage. As you can see, uh, my uh, uh, wizard rogue is uh, pretty badly hurt, so I'm going to have to be very careful here uh, in the dungeon to make sure that I don't lose her. Uh, for those of you uh, new to my stream, hi there. I am Jason Bullman. I'm the director of game design at Paizo. Uh, I am uh, the creator of the Pathfinder role-playing game. Uh, and I'm enjoying uh, Kingmaker. I didn't actually have a lot to do with this adventure path. I tend to work mostly on core rule books and such uh, game engine stuff. Um, whereas uh, we have an entire team that creates adventure paths. So for me, this is a real treat. It's a chance to see my game in action uh, uh, in a way that uh, is kind of an exploration for me as well. Um, so I know a lot about it, but I don't know everything. Uh, so, uh, why don't we get started here? Uh, when I last left uh, the group, I was deep in the dungeon. I had just finished uh, crushing Tortuccio, and uh, I am currently contemplating where I should go. There is a tunnel here to the old Sycamore Depths. I don't feel like I fully explored that, and it seems like it would be folly for me to leave here without fully exploring the depths. So I think I'm going to do a little bit of that, cautiously. Uh, see if I can survive. For those of you watching uh, here today, um, first of all, thank you. Um, you guys have been uh, really great uh, at uh, uh, making sure that this stream was a big success. I made affiliate as of the last stream. So today, uh, sometime here during the stream, maybe in about an hour or so, uh, I'm going to give away some prizes. Nothing too huge uh, for those of you who uh, have uh, played or taken part. I'll let you know what those are as we go along, uh, but I'm pretty excited to do that. Let's see. Wants me to pick up a whole bunch of junk, as always. Yeah, that's okay. I'm willing to go without. What a sorry spectacle. What? The treacherous servant of a treacherous king, who in his turn is mere servant to even greater powers. He impersonates a lesser creature and dies. A good joke is huh. a powerful weapon, and a bad one can seal the joker's fate. So be it. Rise, my unfortunate jester. Your performance is not over yet. You've got to be joking me. Oh, this is not acceptable at all. I'm going to have to hunt him down and kill him again. <laughs> I'll take it. For uh, those of you watching in uh, the stream, let me know how the sound and audio quality is. Uh, I've got a few extra things running in the background here this time around. Uh, so I want to make sure that everything's looking good for those of you who are watching. So if you notice any problems, let me know in the chat. Ah, yeah, see, there's an entire wing of this that I haven't really explored, so it seems to me like it's worth taking a look through. Oh, I've got to level up. I should probably do that. Let me go ahead and level up uh, my cleric here real quick. Uh, going to level 4 doesn't get me too much. Um, I might consider multi-classing, but in this case, I think I'm going to stick with cleric. Having a higher level cleric in the group is going to be super handy, so I think I am going to do that. Sure, everything's on the up and up here. There we are. Get my chat loaded. All right. 
Uh, load up a level of cleric. I do get an ability score point at this level. Uh, raising wisdom here is obviously the smart call. You always want to push towards those even numbers. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Uh, and then I've got four skill points. Nature, religion, perception, and persuasion seem like a good choice. Uh, no new abilities. Uh, no new spells. So very easy level up. All right. A spitting giant centipede, huh? These things have been not very challenging up to this point. Even in large numbers, not very dangerous. They just don't deal enough damage. And that would be that. Easy fight. All is said and done. Alright. So let's see, I've got a tunnel going one way, a tunnel going another way. Oh hey, some looks like some plants down here. That's interesting. What is this? Check that out. Uh I will. To victory! Serves you right. <laughs> Murder most swift. Uh, so I got a question in the chat about how I'm enjoying this adaptation of the module. To be honest, I'm not super familiar with the original text, even though I have it in a volume right behind me. Um, I uh, know that this is one of our more popular adventure paths. For me personally, um, I did have something to do with this one. Not a huge role, but uh, one of my roles was to help advise on the kingdom building especially when it came to uh, revising it later for uh, Ultimate Campaign. Uh, but all in all, that was pretty straightforward work. And so far, I'm really enjoying it. It is really fun to see something that you had a small hand in uh, come to life like this. Uh, for me, it's also really special to see rules that I created come to life. A lot of the various uh, different ways you can pay, play the classes uh, comes directly from archetypes that I help design. So uh, there are I have fingerprints all over this book, even all over this game, even if I don't have any real direct work. What's that? I'm sure I can make it somewhere. All right, looks like I've made it into a secret room of some sort. I definitely see a treasure chest on the floor. What do we have in here? A scroll of snowball. Not bad. And a helmet. Hey, hey. More than happy to see what that is. Inspired wisdom plus two. I have a cleric who could use that for sure. Someone else needs that more than I. There it is. Perfect. What else do I have in here? A wand of magic missile, huh? Well, that seems an awful lot better than a wand of expeditious retreat. Make sure I make good full use of the magic items I have on me. Come to realize I haven't been using a bunch of them. All right, what do we have down here? A scimitar plus one. And a headband of alluring charisma, huh? I have a bard that that would go quite well on, although I'm tempted to take it for my paladin. A ring of protection plus one. Let's see here. Irony and wearing Tertuccio's ring. So I think of all of the characters, uh, Amiri could definitely use some AC boost. <laughs> yeah, I tried to put that headband on uh, on good old uh, Tristian's waist there. Seems like he didn't trust me. Yeah, I'm not going to 
shouldn't be too upset about them missing their treasure hoard. Alright, that should get everybody out. And even more treasure! Uh, just something simple. Alright. Alright, so, keep exploring the dungeon down here. Let's see. Plenty still to uncover. Huh. Looks like a lot of dead kobolds and mites. That's not a good sign. Uh-oh. Yeah, I'm not too overly concerned about centipedes, even if they come at me in mass. Yeah, they just don't have the tools necessary to hurt me really badly. I'm kind of over-leveling this part of the dungeon quite a bit. At least for these uh, kind of trash fights. That's a pretty common occurrence in Pathfinder 1st Edition. It's real easy to find yourself in a spot where the, the enemies just don't provide much of a threat. Um, that's certainly the case with these centipedes. Vermin like this are rarely going to cause too much trouble. Hmm. Alright. Well, it looks like the kobolds and mites themselves took each other out. It's a little worried that it might be some larger monster that has just been killing anything that comes through the area, but not seeing any sign of that. Huh. Where is this going? somewhere else. Looks like it snuck me through to a different part of the dungeon. Oh, I see. I was able to climb up some vines there and get over to this part. What's this? Scorching rain. That's handy. No stopping now. Miner's lever. Oh, I know exactly where that's useful. Was that down here? I think it might have been upstairs. There was a mining cart in front of a, an old uh, door that I'm pretty sure if I could use that lever on, I could burst right through. Oh uh, yeah, for anybody uh, wondering at home, I am playing this on just normal difficulty. Uh, nothing too prevail. difficult. This is for you. Oh. God, I hate those spider animations. They are creeping me out. Oh no. Oh, if there's anyone I trust to make a fortitude save, it's a Miri. Her uh, constitution is quite high. Yeah. No problems there. Two points of damage. That's nothing. Just a scratch. Seems like I'm winding my way back around, probably trying back towards some of the other caves. Oh great, more spiders. A lot more spiders. How am I doing on bardic music? I think we could use a little here. Oh sure. Just kind of letting auto attack take care of most of this. They do uh, kind of just fine focus firing. I feel like I don't need to micromanage them too badly. I just noticed that Octavia is getting sneak attacked at range with her spells, um, which is really interesting. I think it might have to do with the way they do flanking in this. Um, oh, hey, look at that. Everybody leveled up. That's great. Okay. Running won't help you. Oh, and I just set off a web. Oh my god, what is that? Oh, that's not good at all. Uh, alright. Hold on here. I better make sure I'm using full resources. That is a super giant spider. As opposed to just an ordinary giant spider. I think we'll burn some rage here. Yeah, 
I'm not a big fan of the critical hit on Amiri. That's not helping. Oh, thank God. Alright. That was close. Okay, everybody. Dangerous fight. Let's see if we can get everybody through the webs. It's gonna be a real pain. Get my way back through. Yeah, I've noticed that in the game that uh, apparently flanking is just uh, get two characters adjacent to the monster and it counts as flanking. The interesting part is that that flanking also apparently extends to people who aren't even adjacent, um, which is a huge perk. Mm -hmm. Let me go through and do some leveling here real quick since I seem to be at a safe spot. Might as well uh, get everybody up a level. Let's see, Amiria Fourth is going to get another Rage Power. We'll go ahead and take that route. Um, for ability scores here, I think I'm going to go with Strength. That seems like a good choice. Hey, hey, hey. Welcome, Dan, and thank you for the subscription. Dan, you are my first subscriber. Thank you very much. All right. Let's see. I think I need to select a Rage Power. Um... Last time I took a stance, so I don't want to take another stance because I only get to use one of those. Um, however, this one says if the barbarian scores a critical threat while in lethal stance, she applies double the lethal stance bonus when rolling to confirm a crit. Oh, that is definitely worth having. Um, that will uh, greatly increase my confirmed criticals, which on Amiri will do an amazing amount of damage. Yeah, Dan, you're the first one to get to use some of my emotes. Uh, the text on those is a little small. I might adjust them, but uh, enjoy. Beast Totem is a bad, uh, but uh, I'm not sure. I think I might take something like Animal Fury before I take uh, Beast Totem, just because uh, the bite I can do while I'm still wielding a weapon two-handed. All right, that was Amiri. That did not restore all of our hit points, unfortunately. This is my path. I guess I'll cope with that. Let me go ahead and level up my main character, good old Sir Falcon. And I definitely want to get him up to fourth level because he gets an additional use of Smite Evil. All right. Uh, my con is at a decent spot. My dex is pretty tanked on this character. I left myself with a couple vulnerabilities, so I really should decide uh, what direction I'm going. Uh, in this case, um, my AC is could be better. This would really help quite a bit, but it wouldn't really help much of anything else other than my reflex saves, which are pretty terrible. So in this case, I think bolstering that up is a good call. Oh, nope, got to pick my skills. Perception is a must. Religion is a good call. And we'll finally get that athletics up to a zero. All right. I think that's about it. I don't get very many choices here. It's pretty much just a completion. Give the order. Go ahead and get Valerie up a level. Valerie has been going fighter up to this point, and her fourth level of fighter is going to give her a bonus combat feat, which is pretty handy up to this point in time. She's picked up uh, some interesting stuff, so we'll keep her on that path. We'll go ahead and get her Kana up so that she gets a whole mountain of extra hit points. Get her athletics. We'll keep fighting up that path. And we'll go ahead and give her a little bit more nature. That's a good call. Dan. Did you just throw a hundred bits at me? <laughs> Dan, you are a great, great backer. <laughs> All right, let's see. Weapon specialization, definitely the way to go. We'll go ahead and take Bastard Sword. The extra damage there is a great call. I also want to uh, thank Dan. He has uh, secured, uh, through Paizo, uh, an extra Kingmaker code for the Imperial Edition that we'll be giving away here a little bit later on in the stream, so look forward to that. Paizo is being super generous to help me get started here. Uh, for those of you who aren't also a follower of official Paizo, uh, that is twitch.tv 
backslash official Paizo. I highly recommend you do so. We stream there all the time now. Uh, you can find me on there with some frequency, uh, but tomorrow you will be able to watch us running uh, the f beginning of the final part of the Doomsday Dawn uh, adventure uh, starting at 2 p.m. Pacific time. I'm sure Dan can chime in with some additional information. Yeah. Thanks to all of you for helping me to get affiliate. I, I really kind of didn't expect it, and it just kind of popped up in there really quick. Uh, I'm, I'm really excited for that. Ooh! Second level spells. Second level bard spells. Heroism is great, and I am definitely taking heroism as one of my spells. This is one of those spells that, uh, uh, for the bard, heroism is a spell that normally you wouldn't get until it was a third level spell on, say, a wizard, but bards get it at second level, so it's kind of a discount if you if you pick it up a little early. Um, so definitely worth it. Um, Cure Moderate Wounds is also a decent call, just to give my party a little bit more healing. Oh boy, but in this case, yeah, I'm thinking that's probably the way to go. Blur is not bad either, but I think I'm going to take the Cure spell, at least for the time being. And there we go. All right, the only person left now is my rogue wizard. And I'm going to go ahead and pick up uh, that last level of rogue, I think. Do I want to get up to three? Finesse training. Ooh, that is certainly very handy. But in this case, I think I'm going to go ahead and grab the other level of wizard. I need to keep her on pace. <laughs> All right, her int definitely goes up to 22. Uh, we'll go ahead and give her mobility, trickery, stealth, arcana, perception, persuasion. That looks good. Actually, you know what? Instead of persuasion, we're going to give her knowledge world. I don't think I have a lot of that in the group right now. All right. And let's see. She has a couple wizard spells right now. The ones in her spell book. And I'm going to go ahead and pick up um, let's see here. We'll go ahead and grab shield. Oh wait, can I not take this? Why is it telling me it's a red dot? Not recommended. Hmm. Am I not an average large person? Oh, she already has it. Right? Right. Okay. That's fine. Uh, let's go ahead and grab... Oh, we'll go ahead and grab True Strike. And... Stone Fist is okay, but not that good. Um, we'll go ahead and grab Burning Hands, actually, for that. And we'll grab True Strike for the other. That's perfect. Alright. There we go. Alright, everyone's all leveled up. Fantastic. Yeah, I need to pick up the, the sneak attacker feat uh, with my next level, I think. I should have taken it at first, but I didn't. Uh, let's see, is there anything back here? Oh, there's plenty back here. Webbed up in the spider's web. What's this? An old map of Avistan. I wonder if that's one that I drew. Probably. What do we got here? Medicinal herb petals. Sure. One of True Strike. Very handy. Ooh, and a magic cloak. What is the magic cloak? Cloak of resistance plus one, huh? I think I am already wearing one. I think making sure that Amiri makes some saving throws is a good idea, especially when it comes to will. The last thing I want is Amiri turning on me and uh, cutting down my entire crew. All right, let's see, what are we doing time-wise here? All right, uh, so at nine o'clock, I think I'm gonna give away the uh, Steam key for the uh, the Imperial Edition. So uh, stay tuned, let people know. All right, now you get to watch me slowly make my way through a web spell. It's very exciting.
Emma, you can do it, heroes. Ah, the web spell is faded, finally. But there are more spiders. Great. And then our leader charged forwards. Hey, hey, wait for me. Got a few slow movers here. Oh, it occurs to me I should probably heal up a Mary before she goes down in the middle of the fight. That would be unfortunate. Solved. I tire of waiting. So let's see. I have the ability to uh, channel to heal the entire group, or I can lay on hands other and hit Amiri specifically. The uh, channel that hits the entire group is going to heal me more as a as a as a group. Uh, but it does take two uses of my Lay on Hands, so it's kind of more efficient just to throw the Lay on Hands directly on Amiri. Although, not if I roll that poorly. Four points, oof. Yeah, good point on saving. Boy. That burned me uh, in a playthrough last time where I made it quite far and then totally just wiped. So, I've got a save point right there. That, that'll that be just fine. Alright, let's see. How am I doing map-wise here? It's on the bottom of the dungeon here. It's a bit up that way I've kind of missed. Uh, we'll see where it takes me. Alright. Alright. More spiders. Boy, there's a lot of spiders and centipedes in this dungeon. <laughs> I like how Mary just one hit, one kills these spiders. It's delightful. I realize they're only level one threats, and my group is fourth level now, so they are very easy to take down. Um, Alright. There we go. That's all of them. Stop pausing. This looks like the entrance to something scary. Map wise. Alright, so I'm nearly back to that other entrance over there. But instead of going that way, I think I'm going to wander down into this cave and see what's down here. Huh. That's disturbing. Why do I have a feeling that there's some horrifying monster in here? I'm just going to save. I know I saved before, but... Oh, golden earring, potion of vanish. That's fine. Yeah. Alright. Nothing else unusual in here? Everything's everything's normal. Alright. Just a, just a spider cave. It's fine. All right, yeah, nothing too creepy up in there. That's fine. It's all good. No more spiders over here. Hmm. All right. Yes, I've been here before. Looks like I've made it. Uh, made it back to the. Uh, the kind of area I explored the first time I made it down this far. Is there anything else down here I'm missing? I'm certainly glad I came back down here. There was that uh, that headband that I would have totally missed. Uh, let's see, that's leading outside. It heads up to the old Sycamore Caves. or a skeletal champion up this way. All right. Well, I just circle back up this way, and I can make my way outside from over there if I want to. Okay. 
everything here was just ordinary armor. Yeah, I'm already pretty encumbered, so I'm not really looking to pick up a bunch of junk. Oh yeah, that's right. This was the Shrine to Shellen, if you remember the last playthrough I made it down here. Seeing a uh, goddess of art and beauty in the middle of a mine is a bit of an odd call, but uh, these miners were a strange sort, apparently. Huh. Interesting. Sure someone will make the check. Yeah, no problem. You're but a footnote in our story. They go down! Bunch of bottleneck centipedes. And to be honest, it'd be pretty odd if they weren't. Shellen is a primarily human deity. Well, I suppose there's a fair number of dwarves that, that venerate her. Pretty much it for that fight. A kobold has literally been bitten in half. Oh, well, that's promising. Hmm. So just looking at the map, I have a sneaking suspicion this connects back to the passageway I was just in. Uh, but, just to be sure, we'll go Check take a... Out. Oh, hey. Hello. What's that? Secret loot. <gasps> Soft cheese! <laughs> I like how I found this ancient uh, storeroom here. Secret sanctum, you know, and I found some old cheese. Yeah, I've heard people tell me that I can just click on parts on the map and have my group walk there, but I kind of enjoy the uh, pointing and clicking myself and kind of looking at uh, various parts of the map as I go. There we are. Anything else in here? Nope. All right. Make my way back outside. Pretty sure this heads. Oh, I guess it doesn't head back to where I thought it did. It heads to a dead end. Alright. Doesn't head back there at all. Well, that's good to know. Yeah. Clicking. Back in my day, we didn't have auto-navigating and mapping. You had to send it there yourself. Grizzled old video gamers. Now we'll just go ahead and hit a save, you know, because why not? Whenever you make your way into a large room. Aw, uh -huh. more centipedes. Aw, oh, they're Too adorable. Aw. <laughs> Poor centipedes. Did somebody fail a fortitude save? No, it doesn't look like it. All right. I'm here is immune to your silly fortitude saves. And looks like we got one more coming for us. Oh, no, we're being ambushed. All right. Well, that's odd. Some appeared behind the group. Oh, hey. You were a tremendous centipede. Uh, no, everybody. Let's focus on the big bad guy. Kill the giant super centipede. All right. Let's go ahead and get some bardic music. And my last couple rounds of rage. The centipede has to die before it poisons my entire party into being unable to move. Oh, that's a big one. I might be time. Where is? Where 
There's my poor... Let's see, I think I have him move up here. Now that I've killed the big one, I'm much happier with healing everyone. Because the little guys die in one hit. Ah, there we go. Alright. Problem solved. Oh, that was a big part of my problem. Amiri got fatigued in the middle of that fight because I didn't have enough uh, rage left. It's important to note with these barbarian types. It's real easy to run out of rage. Alright. Well, everybody seems in decent shape now, although I do have some dex damage floating in the party. That's going to be a pain to get rid of. Alright. Well, the giant centipede came from this way, so I'm going to assume that this is its lair. Go back here and take a look. No stopping now. Uh, magic light pick. Crumpled helmet. Any other treasure? Nope, just the magic weapon. Which I'll certainly take. I'm not going to say no to a uh, magic pick. It is done. But I don't really have anybody who's using it right now, so we'll see how that goes. Oh, more centipedes. Follow me. Gross green pool. And that would be the tunnel out of here, so I think north it is. Some more centipedes to kill. I wish there was another way. I don't. They're worth XP. <laughs> oh, the centipedes did dex damage to my party. Unfortunately, everyone's a strength-based melee combatant, so eh. <laughs> You're doing your best there, buddy. cave goes, so I think we'll go this way. No Couple. stopping now. What is Well this is awfully pleasant. A golden toad. Um you know before I take the golden toad idol surrounded by giant toads I'm just gonna go ahead and save just in case it makes the toads angry because that's what I'd do if I was a GM I'd be like yeah go ahead take the toad statue yep <laughs> called it you forced my hand take the toad statue make the toads angry that's how this works I'll try to make this swift. <laughs> yeah, if only I'd had a frog-shaped bag of sand to put in the chest in its stead, uh, that this all would have worked out so much better. Oh well. Alright. Well, the frogs all died. Aw. This cute island of life, surrounded by frogs that I... Mercilessly butchered for their frog idol. I kind of feel like that was a jerk move. <laughs> These frogs were just hanging out and I just... Just butchered them. <laughs> I mean, they had a gold idol. It's not like I was going to leave that sit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know if the I don't know if it uh, if the frog idol does have any uh, use in the game. If people are looking for an Easter egg with the frog oh, idol. They might be disappointed. It might not do anything. Uh, 
I would not spend a great deal of energy counting on it uh, doing anything in particular. Alright, well is that kind of it? That feels like it. I can't imagine that there's anything that I've missed at this point in time. I guess there might be something down that way or something, but I... Yeah. Uh, it's really hard for me to justify going all the way back there, so I think we're going to call that good. We're going to make our way back up to the surface. Yeah, I can't imagine that the uh, that the uh, frog is anything more than just a, a piece of uh, idle treasure. Um, all right, so let's see here. What's the quickest way for me to get back to the surface? Uh, probably up over that way. Yeah. All right, that sounds good. Ah, oh, yes, it's just a bunch of a bunch of loot. No, oh, he is very badly hurt. Go ahead and give himself a cure moderate wounds just to make sure he's all good. And we'll go ahead and do two more channels just to make sure. All right. Make our way back to the surface. So yeah, this dungeon has been enjoyable. It's had a, a its fair share of surprises. I do enjoy the kind of puzzle locks that occur in some dungeons where you have to kind of get the right tool or get the right device to get certain things to open. Wait a minute. That's right. There was one thing that I never got. Might have been back this way. It is done. I just remembered I did get that lever and I never used it. And now I'm very curious. Was that on this level or the level below? I honestly can't remember. Oh no. Oh boy. That's right. I went this way before and died. These mites managed to kill me once in the past. Ah, makes me wonder if I should play this extra cautious. Let's see. I do have a bless. I think I'll do that. And Oh, let's see. We'll cast Shield of Faith on Amiri. And throw a snowball at the Might Priest. I think the last time what did me in is these Might Priests, uh really made short work of me with a whole bunch of channels. Um, so as long as I kill them quickly, it shouldn't be too big of a deal. Casting some whole persons at me. Those are a little troublesome. Uh, see, there was a channel. <laughs> yeah, Chekhov's lever. I need to find that and use it. It'll probably just let me back into a part of the dungeon I'm already getting into. Alright. I think I just solved that particular problem. that loot. Check the bodies and see what they have. Some easy stuff to grab. And a bunch of heavy stuff I'm not going to bother picking up. Alright. Not too bad on that. We'll go ahead and give it a save though, just in case. Alright. Now if I recall correctly, the lever was back this way, but I may be wrong on that, but... It's really only one way for us to find out. Oh, there's a whole swath of this dungeon I haven't explored. There's a lot of centipedes. Yeah, it sure is. Alright. Shouldn't 
shouldn't be too hard. The centipede's dead pretty quickly. There we go. Centipede problem solved. Check that out. All right. What else we got here? Oh, looks like there's a little something there to pick up. Very good. I'm not truly evil. I'm a paladin. I am smiting evildoers that live below ground. Everyone knows that creatures that live below ground are evil and needs be smited. Everyone knows that. To be honest, this is kind of one of the big reasons why we revised the way Paladin Code works for 2nd Edition. It's kind of a mess. And leads you to things like, you know, butchering people just because you feel like they're evil. Uh, I think this is the group of mites that did me in last time. Make sure I'm in proper formation here. To victory! Yeah, this is definitely the large group that did me in last time. Light Sentinel, Might Scout. They go down! Strike with all your might! This is for you! Yeah, this butcherer is, was a big problem last time, if I recall correctly. Might hero, as it were. Now, now, Dan. No telling everyone about my evil secrets. <laughs> yeah, Dan has played uh, in a number of uh, games with me, one of, one of which was a very long-running game. That we never quite wrapped up. We had uh, one of our main players move the uh, person we were playing with, so we never, never quite finished it up, unfortunately. Oh, 26 points of damage. I want you to heal yourself. Go ahead and do that. All right. Well, we managed to take care of that fight. Uh, let's see here. No, you don't. Get back here. Right here, my friend. All right. We are now running very low of, very low on healing. Really, I'm getting close to the point where I should probably rest. All right, let's see here. All right, before we get too far into this, I do want to get us close to the point where we're uh, uh, gonna do this giveaway here. Um, but before I do it, I think I want to announce it on social media and give people just a few more minutes. Um, so if you guys will just bear with me here, I will uh, post to my social media real quick. Um. <laughs> oh. I really do want to thank um, Dan and uh, and Paizo for uh, giving me a free key to give away. As a note for all of you who are interested in getting this, this will be the Imperial key, so it gives you kind of everything. And uh, you will need a Steam account to use this. So um, if you don't have a Steam account, I suggest you go grab one uh, real quick. That way you can redeem this code.
just get the message put together here real quick. Ah. All right. Post that. Let me get it up on my Facebook as well. See if we get an influx of people here at the last minute. All right, so I'm going to give that a, a few minutes here before we get going. Uh, we're going to do this through Nightbot, uh, who I have here on uh, the Twitch channel. I want to make sure Nightbot is working. And I should be able to do that by typing. There we go. Yep, Nightbot is up and running. That's great. I don't have it fully configured yet, but I'm working on it. Oh, that's a good call. Dan, I trust you to be a mod on my channel. Look at us. There you go, Dan. Welcome to be a mod. All right, I already picked up all that loot, so let me continue my exploration. Thanks for giving me a hand, Dan. I greatly appreciate it. You know what you're doing with this. I'm just blindly mucking around trying to figure out what to do. All right. So it looks like this is one of the areas that the mice were kind of camping in. Oh, hey. Random number generation. It's like a tweet of the future. Eventually we can start playing a role-playing game in there. Hey there, bridge. Look at me. Fixing bridges. Building bridges? Fixing bridges? Don't break the dice roller. It's also possible that the dice roller has a timer associated with it that uh, uh, after you use it, it, it requires a slight cooldown. I noticed that as a setting. All right, where am I? I'm here. I could have sworn the bit with the cart was around here somewhere, but it might have actually been on the level down below. Oh no, I'm on the opposite side of where it was. Okay, well, that's a thing funny. So this is actually the wooden uh, grate that I was hoping to destroy with the lever, but now I'm on the other side of it. Was that a magic greatsword? It was. There's no way I'm replacing Amiri's greatsword with that, though. Her greatsword is special in that it is actually a giant's bastard sword. All right, I don't think I can get through this from this side because there's the cart that I need to lever. <laughs> ah, that's funny. Okay, so I can't get that way. I might be able to the other way. We'll see. I got that lever and damn it, I'm gonna use it. <laughs> that's kind of an interesting little bit. There were two uh, kind of gadgets you could find down here. One was the lever and the other one was some... Uh, some pieces to fix the bridge. So it looks like you have one of two ways of getting into that kind of treasure vault back there, depending on which direction you approach it from and what side you're working for. In this case, I kind of did the whole dungeon, so I have both. Uh, let's see, I think this is a dead end. Yeah, I'll have to open up the parameters on Nightbot. I already made it so that uh, folks can... Uh, uh, do as many um, uh, emotes and things like that that they want without locking them down, but I don't think I've fully explored all the parameters of Nightbot here in the chat. Um, so I think it might still have a couple things locked down. 
And this is going back outside. So with that, I think we will leave this dungeon behind. I think we will go ahead. Oh. I am now overloaded. I'm going to need to drop some junk. Let's see. Hide, 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 hide. I'm going to drop a bunch of junk armor. Because it is way overloading me. <laughs> I'm just going to, right inside the doorway here, leave the biggest pile of armor the world has ever seen. So anybody who comes into that dungeon will just find this massive pile of armor right near the door. Uh, yeah, I've had folks mention about the item categories a number of times. Yeah, I just always forget to use them. Uh, up at the top of the inventory, you can sort items by category. Um, that's really handy and really useful. And when I'm back in town doing selling, I certainly think about it then and use it uh, quite uh, quite a lot. But I just haven't been using it much uh, here. Now, as you can see, I barely explored this map at all. Um, there are large swaths of this map that I haven't really explored but I'm also feeling really badly beat up right now. Everyone is fatigued. No one has slept in a hundred years. So I think I should probably go rest. That won't heal her, but it will allow me to uh, get uh, everybody back up uh, to full health. I'll just sleep over here near this giant trap. Can you make an epic pose? I need inspiration. We should gather our strength. Yeah, I know. Hey there, everybody. For those of you joining, welcome to the stream. We're uh, playing Kingmaker you here. I just... You so vulnerable. Aren't you afraid that evil people will take advantage of your peaceful disposition and hurt you? Hardly. My vows and faith are a strength, not a weakness. But if evil is done, it won't be my doing. Fair enough. Ah, oh, I need to get better at cooking. <laughs> Alright, so everybody is nice and healed up. Uh, and looking like they're in good shape. Looks like we did away with most of the ability damage that was done. Looks like maybe even all of it. Yep, all of it. Oh, no. There's some dex damage still floating in the group. Oh, well. Can't win them all. So I've got a lot of map here to explore, and I think I will take a, a wander around it. Although I am pretty encumbered right now. Can always pick up a few more items. All right. Uh, for those of you sticking around for the uh, for the uh, for a chance at winning a free uh, key to this game, uh, I want to let you know uh, how you're going to be able to do that. So, in the chat for this, if you want to be entered to win, what you will need to do is type the word... Stolen Lands, two words, into the chat. Doing so will enter you for a chance to win a free copy of the Kingmaker video game, courtesy of Paizo and Dan Servo. Uh, so, type the word Stolen Lands into the chat. Do so between now and 9.20, and you will be entered to win an Imperial Edition. Look at you guys go. Now, I am going to do one thing, and it won't matter, because right now Dan is the only subscriber I have. But if you do decide to become a subscriber, and that even includes if you be decide to become a subscriber uh, using uh, your free Amazon subscriber, subscribers get two entries 
Oh, Dan is gifting subscriber copies to a whole bunch of people. So I'm going to set it so that uh, people who are subscribers to the channel get two uh, two drawings, uh, two entries in the drawings. You only have to put in your uh, you only have to put in your uh, word stolen lands once. It will enter you twice automatically. Uh, but uh, just so you know, two entries if you're a subscriber. So I will let you guys get to that while I continue to explore a bit more of the game. So let's see, I got a pretty big map here. Well, I better save now that everyone is healed up. We'll be doing that drawing in seven minutes. We'll do it at 9.20. I did as you asked. <laughs> Might as well disarm that for some free XP. It is done. This is a very large map. I have a sneaking suspicion there's an awful lot here that I have not yet found. Like up over here, there's... Oh, interesting. No Looks like there's uh, some dead folk down there. I'm going to have to see if I can find a way to get down to them. Oh, long way around it is. Better take it easy, just in case there are some bad guys. Ooh, a lore nature check. I am helpless here. Died of unknown causes. Well, I'll certainly take his food. That's a great idea. <laughs> oh, a dueling sword. Are these some Elduris? They could be. You never know. Day. Done and done. Excellent. Hey, 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 thanks for subscribing, Matt. Ah, there's enough supplies to camp once. It looked great for these guys. Why don't you camp here as well? What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> it's all very suspect. Yeah, I'm not I'm not camping where a whole bunch of people died. I'm just not doing that. That's it's a recipe for getting murdered in my sleep. <laughs> Ah, uh, no. No, no, no. You guys are not talking me into camping in the camp where everyone died. I may make foolish decisions, but I'm not making that big of a foolish decision. <laughs> Let's see, is this another way out? It is. Okay. Maybe it was these elk. These elk murdered them. <laughs> Alright, everybody wants to see what happens if I camp. Fine. Fine, let's go camp. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? Hold on, let me do this first. Save. There we go. Sure, let's all camp. What What could go wrong? And then our leader charged forwards. What? Hey, wait for me. What? Viscount? Viscount Smolderburn? Oh, that's not good. Is that a skull? Oh my... That? Why is everyone running? Why is the paladin the only one staying around? This is really bad. Get back here, you cowards. <laughs> this is really poor. No one else is participating. <laughs> Let's get some flank bonus in here. Oh, get back here! <laughs> as soon as Mary comes back, she's raging as I try and kill this demi-lich. 
Because I'm assuming that's what this is right now. It certainly does seem like I just found a Demi Lynch. I have heard it though, so I mean, at least I got a 20 once. Will Amiri please come back to the fight, please? Oh, that scare. What even is happening? <laughs> All right, this is ridiculous. <laughs> All right, let me uh, let me do a little self healing here because I am being murdered by a skull. Where is Amiri? Amiri, rage. Let's get this party started. Murder time. closer. <laughs> Alright, time to see if this thing is actually a, a uh, an undead or not. That didn't appear to hurt it at all. The hell is this thing? <laughs> Yeah, if it's a Will-O-Wisp, though, it's casting Scare an awful lot. Now, I mean, admittedly, Will-O-Wisps in our game do have um, uh, Scare abilities and Lightning Arc, so that does make sense that this could be a Will-O-Wisp. Um, which is actually really bad for me, because I don't think I have much in the way of Magic Missile's weight. I do. Octavia has a wand of magic missile. Yeah, there we go. There's the money. Come here, you son of a... <laughs> More wand of magic missile, please. Did it cast shield? Oh, you've got to be joking me! <laughs> What a... <laughs> so you get to hit it with Magic Missile once, then it casts Shield. Magic Missile is one of the few spells that can consistently hurt a Will-O-Wisp. And that's clearly what this is, now that I'm looking at it. Like, I need 20s to hit. Its AC is going to be ridiculous. <laughs> hey there, everybody. While I'm getting butchered by a Will-O-Wisp, uh, I want to remind you that... Uh... Okay, hold on here before people die on me. Um, that uh, if you want to be entered in a chance to win this particular uh, video game uh, you can uh, type stolen lands into the chat right now to be entered in a chance to win I'll be doing a drawing right after I'm done being murdered by this will-o-wisp or I somehow managed to kill it via uh, spite would be my current guess I'm just going to kill it out of spite. I think it still has a shield spell up. <laughs> yep, still has a shield spell up. That's just great. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna have to be two words if you want to get entered in the uh, in the contest, folks. And I do want to remind you that if you are a subscriber to my channel, you do get two entries into the contest. Oh, boy. No, that's not going to work. Let me try... Ray of... Let me try Acid Splash on it. Maybe that'll work. I doubt it. The problem is, this thing has an armor class that is ridiculously high. It's in the 20s, and I do not remotely have enough attack bonus to hit this thing. 
Yeah, I'm sure it looks really fun, except for the trick encounter that I accidentally stumbled into here and am getting butchered in. <laughs> Sleep in the camp, they said. That's what I get for listening to you jackals. Tristan, you want to move up and do the task I asked you to do? In this case, I don't really get much info on the enemies I'm fighting. I could make some uh, checks to do so, but in this case, it's pretty clearly a Will-O-Wisp that I've uh, encountered here. Um, uh, in this case, I'm going to have a real hard time hurting it because its AC is so ridiculously high, and I am uh, not high enough level to be dealing with this. To top it off... The one way to consistently hurt it, which is to hit it with magic missiles, isn't really working because it casts shield on itself first thing. Um, which is a real jerk move on the programmer's part. <laughs> I'm trying to get some people up and up and standing here, but I'm not really doing a particularly good job. None of this matters. I think I'm going to go to my load here in just half a second. All right, I'm giving this one more shot, and if this, if it's still protected, yeah, this is where we go back to this. I am not resting in this camp. Forget it. Forget it. That's not happening. That was a waste of my time. You win. You win, will wisp You win. All right, so <laughs> that went incredibly poorly. <laughs>